because I thought it's something very important for us. So what we want today is how to write equations in SOMAS. So I'll start off with the uh, easier equations. Like for, for example, I want to write two y squared plus three x. And therefore, if I want to write that in SOMAS, I'll just write it as two times y to power two plus three times x. Mm -hmm. And that gives me, so this is what will appear in SOMAS and this is on the left-hand side, that is what I expect. If I have an equation like e raised to power x squared, and I want to put it in SOMAS. So in SOMAS, I just come and put it easily as e raised to power x and raised to power two. And that will be able to give me the equation that I expect if I was to write the exponential. So if I want to write another equation, like for example, 19 minus x squared, and I put the square root, and I want that to appear in SOMAS, I just tell SOMAS to take the SQRT, meaning the square root of 19 minus x to power two, and that, or give me what is on there. So what is on the left hand side is what you expect. What is below the word SOMAS is how SOMAS understands the equation. So what is below the word SOMAS is what you write in the SOMAS and what you get is what is on the left hand side. So if you wanted to get the square root, that's how you would put it, SQRT for the square root of 19 minus X to power two X squared. So the power is that sign, that's what you use. So for example, if I wanted to use a sign and then I would do something like, for example, I wanted the sign of two X. Now, when it comes to SOMAS, remember SOMAS doesn't take capital letter. So you don't put capital S, I'll just put a small S. I'll say sign two times X. And what it understands, that is two sine x. So if you wanted to write a number like sine squared, I think it should be the same case, you square and then you put the x. We have looked at the exponential, we have looked at the sine, that is the trigonometric, we have looked at the square root. Maybe we can look at the logarithm. So for example, you wanted the ln of this, the absolute value, and you want to see how that appears in SOMAS, then this you can write it as you use the log, but you use a small letter L, you get the ABS for the absolute value, then you tell it X minus one. You close and open the bracket, and then it is going to give you an equation similar to one in number five on the left-hand side. These are ways that you can write most of the basic equations. You can write the natural logarithm. You can write even the sine inverse, for example. If I wanted to get the sine inverse of, of 3x in SOMAS, it will not be the same as that one. So that will be different. Say so you say A sine 3 times x. So it will give you a uh, uh, sine inverse of 3x. And so on and so forth. If you wanted to get an in indices like to power x, then you could do that. 2 to power x. If you wanted to write it in SOMAS, then it is 2 to the power of x. And that will give you the equation that you are looking forward to. Finally, I can give you the last example because I'm sure now you've gotten the gist of what we are talking about. 
And uh, one last example we can think about is, uh, for example, I have an equation that tends to look complex. It is x squared plus one to power three divided by five. And I want to see how that appears in SOMAS. Then that I can write it as x to power two plus one close the bracket to power three, then divide by five. So you can write any complex equation that you can imagine that exists. And I'm sure that will not be very difficult. And so thank you so much for your time.